Hi everyone, welcome to the session where I'll show you how to achieve the train test split. In my previous session, I've already explained about achieve a train test split using SKLearn.model selection. The main intention of creating this video is because every year some or the other function of scikit-learn gets obsolete. Like when I previously created a train test split using uh, SKLearn dot uh, cross validation, after a few years it got obsolete. Okay. In my previous session, I have created a like I have shown you how to achieve train test split using model selection. But even if it gets obsolete, there is it will not be a problem because in this session I'll show you how to achieve train test split using pandas, using numpy, and also achieve the train test split in a sequential order because there are scenarios where we need to achieve that. So let's start. Before starting, please note this is my uh, playlist for uh, cross validation and these two uh, holdout cross validation, these two topics where I have covered in depth about cross validation, uh, holdout cross validation where we'll use the train test split. So let's start. I first what I, uh, these are the three topics that we will cover. How to achieve train test split using pandas numpy and train test split in a sequential order. So what I will do, I am not taking a very big data set. I am just taking a very small data set. Uh, the main intention is, is to explain you how it happens. Okay, The underlying mechanism. So what I will do, I will import numpy pandas and also I will import uh, make data set. And then I will create a data set which will have two columns, uh, two uh, input columns, uh, the features and it have, have one label. Okay. So let's execute this. What is my X? It has 10 rows and two columns. And what is my Y? Y has just one column. So let's start. What I will do first is I have created my data set. I'm not using any, any data set. It's just for the explanation purpose. I'm using this. So what I will do, there is something called df dot sample. If you use that and you give fraction is equal to one. In that case, we execute this. You will get this entire the entire data set that we are using now if you give instead of 0 0.1 if you print print here 0 0.5 give 0 0.5 and execute this only five rows will be displayed in a random order if you give this six rows will be displayed and if you give 0.8 8 rows be, will be displayed. This will be used when we'll, we will split the data using numpy. np.split inside pandas how you will how we will use that. Okay. Now uh, if you say np.split np.split it will split the data. How it will split I will show you. If I say np.split and if I give df dot sample and I say fraction is equal to 1. I need to break my entire data set. Okay. So I will take give fraction is equal to 1 and inside this I will pass now how many records I have in my data set if I say len of x is how much 10. So I want to divide into the ratio of 60 to 40. So what I will say I will pass here 6 only because 60% of 10 is how much 6. So I will pass now if you execute this this is my train data set and this is my test data set. Now if instead of this if I pass here 7 then the ratio here will be how much? The ratio here will be 70 to 30. The train and test split is split will be 70 to 30 right. So you can see 7 record is in my train data set and 3 records is in my test data set. Sometime there are cases when I want to divide into my train validate and test. In that case what I will do I will I'll say I want to divide into 6 60 20 20. So I'll say 6. If you give here one parameter it will be divided into two data set. Like this, if you give it a two parameter, it will be divided into three data set. So what I will say, 60% followed by, if you add plus 20, then 8 means 60. Oh, okay, I'll show you here. 60, 20 and 20, right? So the first parameter is 6. After that, the next record, what it will do, it will add 60 plus 20, 80. And if you execute this, you can see this is my train data set. This is my validation data set, validate data set, and this is my test data set. That's how it, it happens. So what I will do here, the explanation purpose, but we need to, we need to assign these values to some variables, right? So how, how does that assignment works? So I'll show you that now. I'll say train comma test is equals to np dot split and then I'll pass df dot, I'll pass df dot sample fraction is equals to one. I want, I am splitting it based on my entire data set. And then after this, if your data set is huge, you uh, then instead of doing it, calculating it man uh, orally, you can pass pass 0.6 percentage of the length of my data set. Okay. My data set is TF because after this uh, creating a data frame, right? I'm passing here. Now, what is my train? Train is this and test is this value. Correct. So this is how my 60s to 40s done. If you want to convert this into 70s to 30, just pass 7 here. 
now you check the value of train and test 70s to 30 if i want to convert okay if i want to so this 70s to 30 is also done train test split of now what i will do i will divide this into train validate and test so how that will be done and because we need to assign it to three variables so my there will be two positional parameter here okay what's the ratio here ratio is 60 to 20 to 20 right so i'll say 0 0.08 into length of dm so if i say train train is 6 record validate is 2 record and test is 2 records now similar case if you want to convert this into 50 is to 30 is to 20 so how you will achieve that simply go here and then you pass 5 here and then 50 is to 30 right so, so 50 plus 30 is how much 80 so 0.8 and then execute this th 2 lines 3 lines so the one is comment now what is the value of your train train is 5 record validate is 3 record and test is 2 record so using numpy using numpy and pandas both we have achieved the train test split